What's going on everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203 bringing you part three of the Kraken series. Only thing left to do on the Kraken here is to give him some max highlights, uh, touch up his teeth, his eyes, and I want to do some special little effects on the caps of his, uh, of the waves that the tentacles and he himself is jumping out of. So a fair amount of stuff left to do. But before we get started, just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I am putting out there in my quest to paint the manual. The Kraken, let's get it. All right, so as a final highlight here on the Kraken, I am going to be going over him with a ruddy skin I feel like ruddy skin it will play nicely over both the red areas and the brown areas Uh, now what I'd like to do is go into his tongue with uh, the Caro the Caroberg Caroberg Crimson that I was using on his on his tentacles, just to darken that up a little bit. And while that is drying, I'll put him back in the wave. While that is drying, I'm going to go into the tentacles and I am going to be doing the same thing that I was doing on the main figure with the ruddy skin. So I want to go in and touch up the teeth a little bit. So I'm taking my hot egg brown and I'm just going to be going to each tooth.
Take a little bit of that orange ochre, kind of touch up the eyes, just a, just a hair. While we are waiting, I suppose I could go in on the claws. Put a little coat of desert yellow on his eyeballs. I'll set him off to the side for now and we can go ahead and focus on the, the big wave. All right, so on the wave is a final kind of touch here. I'm gonna be using a snow effect from Vallejo. It's an environmental effect. And I'm going to be, it comes out kind of like globby, like that. I'm going to be setting it on the extreme edges of the waves to kind of add to the foam. And what this will do is after a little bit of time, it'll harden. Um, but it's, you know, in, intended for use, um, as a snow effect, like I said, but it actually can serve doubly as um, foam for waves. So some pretty cool stuff here. time to dry and like I said that'll harden so that it'll, it'll stay in place now going back to the crack in here it looks like it has one of those like slits for a pupil kind of like a like a cat's eye almost I think the last thing I'm gonna do on um, the main figure is take some of that color shift metal. I'm gonna put it onto my brush and I'm going to flick this onto the main figure. Um, right up on his back. Not looking for anything in your face here. Just looking to flick it in random spots so that it's got that kind of deep sea sparkle to it, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this all up the figure. Um, this isn't very diluted paint, so it's a little hard to do, but I wanted it to be kind of a subtle touch. I didn't want it to be like in your face or anything like that. So this is the best route that I could think to go with it so get it while it's nice and wet 
literally just pulling back the, the bristles on the brush. And going in. extra character not necessary but um, still pretty cool I think all I'm gonna do now is do the same thing on the tentacles as far as the snow effect goes and then I think we're about done so not a whole lot left to do all right so there we have it the Kraken from Nolzer's marvelous miniatures and whiz kids games all done, that was quite the endeavor. I uh, haven't even thought about painting the boat. I don't think I have anything left in me, um, but I will paint the boat at some point, but I am safe to, I'm prepared to declare this miniature ready for the table. And I hope you enjoyed. As always, I thank you for joining me. Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video, as is information on how to follow Dominic Marriott of Credit UK and Mike Donnarumo of MVD Studios. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.